this morning, or have you been here all night? Well, not that you asked, but I was really only able to get about four hours of sleep last night. Must be the jet lag. I've been told not to get close enough for you to be able to reach me. You're supposed to be very dangerous. There was a time that I really enjoyed flirting with danger. Until I literally played with fire. Boy, did I get burned. What do you think? The injuries are severe. Right, I, I understand, but what are her chances at recovery? She wants to be restored to what she was. That's impossible. We have no protocols to reverse this type of damage. Are you sure? She's, she's gone to a clinic in Russia. They, they promised cutting-edge techniques. You know, someone could have had a breakthrough, but the fact that they haven't publicized it, it's concerning. I understand your family placed you here. Do they visit you? Miss you? I don't think there's anybody at home missing me. One daughter's too young and the other one is... She's just living her life. As it should be. I thought that I met somebody that I could spend time with. And he's about as interested in me as you are. <laughs> You have been warned not to approach this man. What? I'm completely out of reach. He's quiet and any distraction could set him off. But you said... That's my phone. Well, who's calling me? You just hung up? You can talk to whoever it was when you're discharged. You need to focus on your procedure. Well, I would love to, but I don't even know what it is yet. No one's told me a damn thing. I haven't even met my own doctor. No time like the present. I'm Dr. Bronski, the man who's going to restore your face. I'm unavailable right now, so please leave a message. Yeah, hey, Ava, it's uh, Griffin again. I, I don't mean to be obnoxious. It's like the fourth or fifth message I left. For all I know, you don't even have service. But look, if you get this message, look, I know you're in Russia, and I, I know what you're doing there, and I'm, I'm worried that you're going to regret it. So please just give me a call back and, and hear me out, and, and if you decide you still want to go through with it, I'll go through with it with you. Look, I just I want to just offer you moral support. Griffin. Sonny. Punch your bag not working out for you? You want to talk to me about something? I don't even know where to begin. Much less where I'm going. Griffin, thank God. Sam, Sonny, I'm glad you're here. Jason, he's waking up.